Hi there, so today I'm reviewing the Omron X4 blood pressure monitor, which is this one here. I've had this blood pressure monitor since October of last year, and this is my third Omron blood pressure monitor that I've had since I was diagnosed with high blood pressure. This particular blood pressure monitor is such a delight to use. I don't use it as often as my main blood pressure monitor which is the Braun ExactFit 5 but this one is equally as accurate as as the Braun ExactFit 5 so I generally do have confidence that whether it's this one or the Braun the blood pressure readings are taken with confidence. A while ago I did a review of the Omron X3 and that is a blood pressure monitor that looks very similar to this one the X4 but the difference between the X3 and the X4 is that the X4 has Bluetooth connectivity which enables you to connect to an app that you download from the App Store and you can collate all your blood pressure readings as long as you want to whereas the X3 does not have any connectivity at all so you would have to take your readings manually so the X4 has been tested against other blood pressure monitors and you can see the readings here and I think personally that the readings are comparable to other blood pressure monitors if you think otherwise drop me a comment and I'll try and respond to every comment that comes through the X4 allows two people to share this blood pressure monitor so if you look at the screen here there is a button which you can push um, and it shows whether it's person one or person two that is using the blood pressure monitor so it can be shared between two people also it comes with one single cuff so where the Braun exact fit has two cuffs a small cuff which is about 22 centimeters to 32 centimeters and a big cuff which is 32 centimeters to 42 centimeters this one comes with a single cuff which covers 22 to 42 centimeters also the Omron X4 enables you to store up to 60 blood pressure readings after that it would delete the oldest reading and insert a new one so it's always first in first out when it comes to managing the amount of data that it stores on the blood pressure monitor itself so let's take a look at the app I found the app quite easy to download from the app store and even though I, I had already started to use the blood pressure monitor before I downloaded the app I found that it was easy to download the data to the app with minimum effort it actually has a sync notification on the app that tells you when the app is syncing with the blood pressure monitor so let's take a look at some of the features of the app itself so when you open up the app it gives you a summary of your daily activity this is the first interface you see when you open up the app you can see that it tells you what your blood pressure reading is for the day so if you took three blood pressure readings it would display the average to you in terms of activity that is a feature that I don't use because I have a Fitbit and also the weight so you can set goals in terms of maybe how many steps you want to achieve in a day in terms of walking around and the body weight that you want to achieve for the day so those are the other two uh, features on 
the opening page of the app so when you click on the blood pressure button the app takes you to another page where it shows you your blood pressure readings for the day and it assumes that you take your blood pressure reading in the morning and the evening and as such it will display the average reading on this particular page so the next page is the activity page which i mentioned and that enables you to record the number of steps that you have taken in a day the calories burnt and the distance that you have covered during the day i don't use this feature anyway but if that is helpful you can use it the final page is a record of your body weight if you click on the history button it would take you to this page here where it shows your blood pressure history your activity history and your weight history i only use the blood pressure history on this page so let's take a look at the blood pressure history so if you look at the blood pressure history the first page that it takes you to is your daily blood pressure reading and it looks like this after that the on the top you can actually see that you can see your weekly monthly and yearly blood pressure history so if you click on the weekly button it looks like this and then if you click on the monthly it looks like this and the yearly looks like this so you can get a lot of useful data from this app and that would help you determine how much progress you are making in terms of managing your blood pressure there are other features there so next if you touch the plus button it will take you to a screen like this and if you touch the profile button it will take you to a screen like this on that screen you can configure and work with things like the account settings your profile and so many other things so you can do things like pairing or unpairing a omron device to the app it also enables you to subscribe to premium features which costs about eight pounds 49 per month and so many other things there you just have to play around with it to to be able to use it the main reason why i downloaded the app was to enable me store my blood pressure readings and, and nothing more and i suppose that would apply to the majority of the people who want a connected blood pressure monitor so this blood pressure monitor costs about 75 pounds uk which is about 90 to 95 dollars us it's quite a robust device and a device that i would recommend for anybody whose budget fits within that range so if you want to find out about other blood pressure monitors that have been reviewed on this channel click on the screen that you see right now and if this review of the omron x4 has been helpful why not click on the like button and if this is your first time why not subscribe and hit the bell notification so that you be notified of any new videos that are uploaded to this channel so i'll see you in the next video take care bye